everyone, it's Marissa, and today I'm going to show you how we are going to do an enema. So as you can see, I have this little puppy here. We, uh, I am actually whelping the litter, and I noticed with her, she's actually struggling to go to the bathroom. Um, I think it's the formula that she's that she's eating. She's having a hard time digesting it. So we're going to perform an enema. The reason why I know she's having a hard time is because she's straining, she's moaning whenever she goes to do, um, whenever she goes potty and does a bowel movement. So also when I press on her stomach right here, it's really hard. Like it's like firm. So I know she's a little built up back here and she's a little backed up. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do an enema to relieve these puppies. So as you can see, I have six puppies here. Uh, they are five days old now and this is part of the day five journey so I'm gonna perform an enema on all these puppies and I'm gonna show you exactly what we need to do so this is what we need so you're gonna need some distilled water here you will need some Vaseline a one milliliter syringe and then also a little container to pour the distilled water in uh, the water can be room temperature. You don't want to warm it up. You don't want it to be cold either. Uh, you just want to make sure that it's room temperature and it's not going to completely cool down your dog because then it's going to send a shock through them. So um, I usually do this over the toilet. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it. So I'm going to set her down really quick. And also side note, um, you want to make sure that you have warm wipes as well. So this is a wipe warmer that I previously bought and the wipes are non-scented baby wipes and you just want to stick them in there so that way when you go to clean their bottoms it doesn't cool them down because you want the pups to retain all that heat. So you want to make sure the wipes are warm. <laughs> you want to make sure the wipes are warm and that uh, nothing cold is touching them. Okay, so I have my syringe. Now I'm gonna get it prepped. So I'm gonna take one milliliter of distilled water and I'm gonna fill it inside the syringe. And now that this is filled, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly put Vaseline on the tip of the syringe so that way it's easy to slide in and it won't cause the puppies any discomfort. And now I'm going to go ahead and take our little puppy. And as you can see, I'm just gonna hold her right over the toilet here. I'm gonna lift her little tail. And I'm just gonna slowly insert like so. We're gonna slowly push the water up into her rectum. And this is going to loosen up any um, obstructions and you will see her slowly start to have a bowel movement. All right, so we're gonna let that sit for a little bit. I'm gonna take my wipe, and remember this is a warm, wet wipe, and I'm gonna slowly rub in a circle. And I'm gonna rub in a circular motion around the anus so it stimulates her bowels. As you can see, it's slowly starting to come out. See that? So naturally, puppy's poo is gonna be a little bit gritty and grainy, but what you don't want is you don't want the poo to be really solid and hard because it's gonna have no moisture in it and it's gonna hurt coming out. So you wanna make sure that the puppy, when she does poo, that it's real, like it's creamy and it's of a good consistency. It's not too hard to where she can't pass it. So the first time I submitted this um, syringe into her rectum, I only put a little bit in there because I wanted to see if it would actually unblock it. But now that there's barely anything coming out, I'm just gonna repeat the process. So put it slowly into the rectum. 
And this will be helpful with two people if you can, but if not, then one person is fine. As long as you know what you're doing. Take your wipe and rub in circles very gently on their bottom. And this doesn't hurt them. If anything, it provides relief for them because you get to relieve their upset stomach and then also they're allowed to do bowel movements again. This is not painful at all for them. And we just did an enema on him and it's already coming out. So I wanted to make sure that with him specifically, um, it wasn't coming out at first. So what I did was I just let it sit and over time as his bowels relax, it's, a, it's a releasing. So this is what you want. I'm gonna actually put her down and I'm going to clean up this little guy. And again, you don't have to wear gloves, but I'm wearing gloves because this is a messy job and I have nails. So, any moms out there, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, and this is what you want. You want this on your baby wipe. This is what it should look like. You wanna remove the blockage and you wanna make sure that um, it relieves their stomach as well. Yeah, poor little baby. When you are going to give your pup an enema, be sure to not feed them beforehand. Uh, as soon as you notice that your pup might be a little backed up or there might be some blockage in there, go ahead and give them that enema. Um, hold off on giving them the food and then once after you do perform the enema, then you can go ahead and give them the food. Otherwise, you would just be adding to the problem and causing more discomfort. So I wanted to also touch on this. This is one of my most favorite formulas out there right now for dogs. It's the Espelac goat milk formula. In my opinion, it's the closest to the mother's milk. Um, like these puppies right here, they were without their mother. Uh, the mother was actually just not having it with them. So they are abandoned orphan pups by their mother. Of course, um, you know, the breeder, he brought them to me to welcome them and take care of them. However, this formula right here has definitely worked well and worked wonders with them. Um, it hasn't caused them any pain, any constipation. Um, if anything, it is one of the best ones on the market in my opinion because it provides so many nutrients and minerals that they need next to their mother's milk. So you wanna get the S Black goat milk, the goat milk, that is key. Get that one and then there's also a second step after that. Okay guys, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. I'm going to go ahead and continue giving these beautiful pups their enemas and make sure that they're relieved. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share this video as well. And of course, if there's anything you want to see during this whelping process, please let me know and I'll do my best to shoot that video for you. I'll see you on the next one.